Look at this shocking video. Shows a group of more than 100 migrants, migrants rushing our southern border in Texas. Just look at them breaking through the razor wire and knocking down guards on their way in. But almost all major media outlets ignore the story, aside from CBS, which covered it for a mere few seconds. A chaotic scene today at the border in El Paso. Video shared by the New York Post shows a group of migrants pushing past Texas National Guard troops and rushing through a razor wire fence. Texas Governor Greg Abbott says authorities quickly regained control and reinforced the barrier. Fox News contributor Joe Conte joins us now. I don't know, Joe, could the lack of coverage of literally the video of the day in which our business, you are taught to lead with the best video of yeah. the day, be an attempt by the media to keep voters from seeing what amounts to an invasion at our border to cover up for the current Democrat incumbent. Can you imagine this? Your ABC News, your NBC News. This is, as you said, the viral video of the day. It is shocking. It's news. Yes, exactly. To see our National Guard get overrun by people who should not be be here, cutting through razor wire, running right through them. I mean, this is something that obviously as a producer, you say, all right, we got to lead with this, but at least have it as our second or third story. They don't do it. Then you go to CNN's case. For, forget CNN Air. I'm talking about CNN.com. Infinite space. All the space in the world because it's the internet. And if you go on their homepage this morning, they have 11 stories on Donald Trump. Mm. All negative, of course, all focused on his legal issues. Zero on what's going on here. Same thing with the Washington Post. And this is how it's going to be for 227 days. I have a little clock in my studio nice. uh, at home. Leading up to Election Day, this is going to be all about Trump and not about Trump's policy, by the way, when it comes to the border particularly. Meanwhile, ignoring the fact that Joe Biden can reverse all of this with executive orders around border wall construction, around remain in Mexico, around catch and release. This is media malfeasance disguised as journalism, and they just don't care. And by the way, CNN, they might want to cover this because if you look at their primetime ratings, their highest rated program mm -hmm. can't break 700,000 viewers in an election year. Just mm -hmm. put that in context. Fox News gets four times that number because we're talking about the things that people care. Well, about. Uh, back to this video on the 100 people that do, don't they know that they don't have to do this? I mean, they don't they don't have to knock down this fence and knock over the, the Border Patrol agents yeah. because they could just come into the country uh, without causing any of this chaos. And that is what happened, Joe. A majority of those people wound up being processed and they're in the United States right now. And uh, to the news, uh, the media coverage of this, CBS News did speak with uh, Border Patrol Chief Jason Owens. Uh -huh. First interview he's done since taking the job in June. And he says that something has got to change. He also said that he supports the Texas law SB4. He's a member of the Biden administration. The Biden administration disagrees with him on that. They're fighting tooth and nail to keep Texas from trying to build at least border fence, at least trying to have some sort of law and order at the border. That speaks volumes. So when you hear about Joe Biden saying Republicans are to blame for the border, well, then why are you fighting Texas on this? And if we could put the video back up for a second, guys, there it yeah. is, actually, in the split screen. You show me how many women and children are in that group of people. Well, they were divided into groups. Oh, they there were? were women and children. But in another group, and these are the men. Mostly what we're seeing in these videos, though, in general, these are military-aged young men. I don't see a lot of families here, yeah. and, and I think that's that's obviously uh, something we have to be concerned with, but thanks to you yeah. for the correct uh, Especially okay. in those areas where it's much easier to cross, like California, you see a lot of the yep. single male Chinese. Arizona as well. Before yeah. we let you go, RFK Jr. calling out the New York Times during an interview with the New York Times. Watch. <laughs> 70% of the people in this country do not want a contest between Trump and Biden. The New York Times is not going to give those, allow those people to get in. Those Americans who don't want to see a rerun of this contest, don't you think they deserve something? And the New York Times is Democratic. It's essentially an instrument of the Democratic Party. Just, if you listen to the whole thing, interviewer could not grasp the concept that RFK Jr. actually wants to win the presidency. He kept yeah. insisting he's just trying to be a spoiler for Biden. Doesn't that prove RFK Jr.'s point? Mm. No third-party candidate has gotten uh, double digits in terms of votes since Ross Perot in 1992. RFK Jr. is there. Can he win? Very much a long shot. This interviewer seemed to be pushing him to get out because, obviously, RFK Jr. will take more votes from yeah. Joe Biden than from Donald Trump. As far as The New York Times, they have endorsed now in 16 straight elections McGovern, Carter, 
Gore, Kerry, Dukakis, Mondale, wow. arm of the Democratic Party? Yeah, I think so. You are an encyclopedia when it comes to rattling off like those Like Rain names. Man. And let's see if they can make it 17. <laughs> I'm and sure that's, that's driver, coming. Well. You have a good weekend, guys. All right, Jen, thank you so much. Right. Have a great weekend. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.